All right, guys, J.A. Product Performance. Uh, new product here, now available. Uh, I've been promising this for a while. So what we got here, this is a Ford 4R70W. And what I've done, traditionally, if these had a trans brake, the solenoid was internal, and a lot of times they were a, a small solenoid, and some of them suffered pretty badly from a pretty massive delay when you go to leave. And um, also it was difficult to service uh, those little those little valves. Um, you know, those small solenoids, uh, you typically have a really small hole that feeds them, and that hole could kind of easily get blocked and they could be temperamental and things uh, so what I've done here is this is basically just a solenoid from a power glide and I've mounted this externally and you know a couple things I know you're gonna ask is some of the factory shift linkages would use this boss and then a boss here that was a bracket uh, to hold the the shift linkage down here. Um, I do have to remove that to get the solenoid in. So if you are using that factory shifter, you probably just have to make a bracket to come off the pan. And, you know, that's something, you know, maybe... I, I don't know if there's a lot of people really using that for a trans brake unit, but... Um, so let me tell you a little bit more about this trans brake. Uh, but anyways, that's just one of the things you can run into. But So this trans brake can come in forward pattern, full manual, or full auto shift, uh, which is cool. So fully functioning auto shift transmission, and you can have a trans brake. Now, uh, it works in first gear. It works in second gear. Bad news is it works in third gear also. So you have to kind of be careful there, you know, use your head and, you know, you don't want this trans brake coming on when the car is moving uh, in any gear, uh, especially in a higher gear like second to third. Uh, that could be dangerous. So, you know, if this is something that's on the street, what I always recommend is have like a kill switch for your trans brake so that, because a lot of times the trans brake button is on the top of the shifter you don't want to ever have a problem where you're street driving and you or someone else in the vehicle uh, pushes that button while you're moving uh, in any gear, really. But uh, they could be probably really scary in third gear if you're going, you know, pretty fast and somebody turns that trans brake on uh, to lock up tires. So bad scenario. So I always, you know, regardless of whether you have a first, second, or third leave, or whatever, uh, regardless of what transmission or anything, I always recommend a kill switch for the street. Uh, so anyways, uh, that's it. I hadn't seen anything like this on the market, uh, so I was trying to do something a little different. A lot of guys are complaining about the internal solenoid style, and they wanted this to be more like a you know, more like a power glide or something you can get on a C4 or a C6 with the external solenoid. Uh, not an easy thing to do because you don't have the vacuum modulator hole to just retro it in there with the passages and everything already in the case. So uh, this takes, I'm not going to show you the inside because I'm trying to keep this from me, this idea from being stolen. Uh, you know, we've had problems with that, so I don't I don't want this idea stolen uh, now This is available, but I am pretty backed up uh, It is May of 2025 depending on when you're watching this video uh, as of right now. I'm pretty backed up, but um, If you're interested in this setup, let me know now. I want to make something clear as of now this will not be sold as just a valve body and the solenoid where you install it in your transmission. The only way you're going to be able to get this from me is buying the whole transmission from me. And uh, I know you guys are going to ask, uh, Hey, I got a rebuilt unit and uh, it's already got red clutches in it. Can I just buy that valve body? No, you can't. 
the reason is because this is not an easy install. And um, at some point, I'll either design a new trans brake for do-it-yourselfers, uh, may not be external like this, or maybe some sort of a tooling kit, and uh, it might get sold to... Uh, competent shops that can install it, that sort of thing. But it's just not an easy install, guys. And uh, you can see here that this has been milled. So I actually put the case on the milling machine. And, you know, I know a lot of guys can't do that. And please, again, don't email me. Hey, I've got a milling machine. I don't care. You know, right now, again, I'm going to repeat myself. I apologize, but... Right now, the only way you're getting this is to buy the whole transmission from me. Uh, that may change in the future, but not for a while. I've got a lot of other things I'm working on, other things that are going to be coming out, other new products, and the do-it-yourself version of this, it's kind of far down the list right now. So uh, we'll see if this even sells. You know, you never know. If people want this sort of thing, um, it's on the dyno here. It's kind of a lame demo, but uh, give me a second here. Well, let's see. You can. I'm gonna activate it. I've been having some electrical trouble here on the dyno for some reason, but uh, so you can you can see that electrically activate. And um, you know that's another thing that's nice. You know if you have an issue where man the trans brake not engaging, what's going on? This is really easy to see if it's uh, engaging or not. Because uh, I had some problems earlier today uh, electrically where I wasn't getting current to this solenoid for some reason. I don't know. I was flaking out. but um, So that's another thing that it's nice and easy to diagnose because you can actually see something. Uh, and also you can... This will just unscrew. So there's a valve and a spring in there. And you can easily pull those out, and if you need to clean it or anything like that, if it's starting to get sticky. Um, and you can also just you can also just push on this and see that it goes in, and it's got a lot of spring tension on it, and it'll spring back out by itself. So every once in a while, you can kind of just go ahead and do that and check it and make sure you know make sure it's okay and that sort of thing before you go racing or whatever. And uh, if you need to take this off and clean anything for any reason, real easy to do. Um, you know, so I don't know if some of you will have any issues with clearance. I really tried to keep this as compact as I could. I don't have a lot of options on where to put it. Uh, this is something that has taken me some time to figure out. It wasn't easy even getting it in this location. There's a lot of... There's a lot of dimensional issues with trying to get this done, but uh, in the end it turned out well and it fits in nice. And um, so, you know, if you're wondering, hey man, could you maybe put that thing here or there? Nah, I can't. You know, there's just no room. Uh, because you have to, you know, this is easy to mount outside, but you have to understand there's a, there's a sub-valve body that's behind this to you know that actuates the hydraulic circuit so uh, that's what's tricky to fit in there and uh, again I apologize I'm not going to show it to you publicly here because uh, I'm just trying to maximize the amount of time before some damn thief gets a hold of me on this but uh, you know how that is but anyways I'll, I'll turn this on for a second you can kind of see it but uh, I'm going to put it in first. And, uh, you know, I know it's a lame di dyno demo. I don't have it in a car, but uh, we'll try to get that fire at some point. But let me fire this up here. Okay, so trans brakes on. And release. Not very exciting, I know, on the dyno, but uh, 
least you can see it works. This particular one is a full manual version. Um, again, I've got it uh, also for auto shift, so you can just leave it and drive and uh, activate the trans brake, trans brake, let go of the trans brake, and then let the controller shift the car down the track if you want to, uh, for you guys that don't want to shift anymore. So anyways, uh, that is that. And um, if you want one of these, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a while. I'm really backed up right now. I'm sorry about that. but uh, So you're going to have to kind of plan ahead. Uh, certainly don't ask me for to get you one of these for the weekend or something, or even in a couple of weeks. I, I'm a few months out. so. Uh, but it is available, and uh, it's been a long time coming on this one. I just hadn't... Uh, it took some doing to figure this all out and get it working, and I just haven't had a lot of extra time for these kind of projects. But anyways, uh, so there you go. Uh, thanks for watching this, and uh, if you're interested in it, just email us, and I'll get you a price together depending on how much power you have and um, a rough timeline. You know, figure you know, figure a few months the way things are right now. I mean, this could change, but. Uh, again, as of May of 2025, I'm pretty backed up. So, all right, thanks, guys. Appreciate you watching this.